Hi guys, welcome to my baby registry tips video. Um, I'm going to share with you what I did for my baby registry. Eric and I went to Target and Babies R Us and then we also registered on Amazon.com. So I'm going to share with you the goodies that Target actually gave us and um, Babies R Us, but Eric mixed up the two different bags because he used the target bag for something else so he dumped everything in one bag so i'm just going to do my best to show you um, what i think target had provided me um, when they give you a um, the baby registry gift bag okay so um, if i wasn't clear when you do go into the store so we went into target um, I already registered online. Um, you go to the customer service desk and you say, hey, I'm here to register for a baby registry. And then they gather your information and then they give you um, a, a price gun. And you go to the baby section and then you pretty much scan whatever item that you want to be added to your registry. Okay, so the items that we got from Target are a bunch of coupons and these are very helpful especially if you're trying to save some money and then you can wait until Target goes their stuff goes on sale and then on top of their sale you can use their coupons so coupons that we have are uh, $4 off Pampers another $4 off Pampers $2 off Infamil uh, we have $25, I mean 20% off of paints when you're ready to do your nursery, which we are going to, do, well, Eric's going to do it tomorrow. Uh, we have prenatal pills, and these are um, a coupon if you want to try Happy Mama brand. We have a, oh hey, parent to be, congratulations, a buy one get one free from Starbucks. We have 20% off of a, a Kinsa ear, smart ear thermometer. I know we're going to need a thermometer, thermometer. I just don't know if we're going to get this, this specific brand. And then we got information on baby wipes from Up and Up. On top of that, we got samples of different stuff here. So we have an Aveeno Baby uh, Daily Moisture Lotion. We have a Nuke Pacifier. Baby Organics uh, Laundry Detergent. Um, Eustella, I think this is Baby Lotion. I've never heard of it or seen it before. Aquaphor for the baby's bottom. We have Boogie Wipes. Butt Paste. Um, what is this? Unscented Baby Wipes from Up and Up. And um, Honest Diapers and Wipes. So this is a good, this is a good sample because I really wanted to try their diapers before I actually bought some online. Um, but yeah, that was all from Target. It's a good amount of gifts before you start and wander off into the store and buy other things. So um, now I'm going to go on to Babies R Us and the items that they have given in their goodie bag. So when you go into Babies R Us, you're going to go, if you haven't registered online already, you're going to go into the um, Babies R Us Registry counter and they're going to ask you for your information. So we did that and we got tons and tons of paper. Okay, so after you go ahead and do the same thing, you scan your items that you want, you're going to get a whole bunch of papers like Breastfeeding 101, um, a registry checkoff list that was neat because what we didn't even plan on what we're gonna buy or what we wanted and then they give you a list of a printout of all the items that you had scanned in the store your registration form top registry must-haves um, what else and then just information about like your hospital bag which you should put in there 10 weird things about a newborn. So just random information that you may need once you have your newborn. 
And then they gave us information on um, a sneak peek ultrasound where they do 3D and 4D ultrasounds. I don't know if we'll be doing that because I think we're happy with the ultrasounds that we got from our, um, our doctor. And then they gave us samples, well not samples, but information on the munchkin step. If you want a diaper genie, is that what it's called, diaper genie? Yeah, um, this is information, then you get a $5 off coupon. And then they gave us this, there's uh, two disposable nursing pads, two breast milk storage bags with this brand. So if you wanna go ahead and try that. And then they give you nursing pads from a different brand, which is Munchkin Latch which I think is neat because I was thinking I wanted to put nursing pads on my registry, but mm, I don't know yet. <laughs> and then they gave us an Advent um, bottle. I think this is probably like a four or five ounce bottle. And I thought that was really neat because we did put a set of Advent bottles on our registry. So now we have an extra bottle. And then they gave you a card for rewards. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but a certain amount of money that you spend, you get 10% off of your next purchase or something like that. So this is this is going to go by pretty far or this is going to help you out because once your guests um, purchase from your registry, then after that, once the baby's born, you have all these discounts when you continue to buy from Babies R Us. And then you get this wonderful bag. And this wonderful bag has Infimal brand in it. Oh my goodness, can you believe, look how cute this is. I don't know if I'll be using this because I do want to breastfeed, but wow, Infim Infimil for newborns and Infimil for infants up to 12. And then you got already pre-made pre -made formula. And then this is formula bake meals powder. So this is really neat, really, really nice of them to do that. And then they gave us Pampers. A Pampers, Sucker Ridge Sucker Nursery, sample not for retail. It's Pampers, I don't know if this is a pamper, an actual pamper, because it's such an, it's in a cute bag, if you can, I don't know if you can see that part. But it's in a cute bag. And then you got seventh generation diapers, if you want to try that. Yep, and then you got some coupons in here as well. Um, okay, so now I have five tips to share with you when starting a baby registry. The first one is what stores are near you? So do you have a Babies R Us? Do you have a Target? Um, those are the mainly ones that I did. I don't know where else you would do it. Baby, bye Bye Baby. Um, Carter's, I don't know. Um, so you have to check out to see what stores are near you. And then you'd want to go ahead and maybe do it online. If you don't have a computer, then go to the actual store and see what they have. The second one is start with the basics. The crib, a diaper changing station, a dresser, decor, what kind of theme you possibly want, what kind of paint colors you possibly want for your nursery. Um, and then when you do decide what you want to focus on it gives you a better idea of what to start looking for when you start going to the store and scanning all the items that you like the third one is do your research you definitely want to do your research so you don't feel overwhelmed when you get to the store because that was my mistake when eric and i went to babies rs we didn't do our research we didn't really know what we wanted we knew that we had to get the big stuff, the crib, the pack and play, uh, the stroller. And when we got there, the lady that that was a rep, she said, go ahead and play with any of the strollers that you want, the cribs are over there. Um, but when we got there, we really didn't know what type of stroller we wanted. I knew, the only thing I knew that I wanted in a stroller was that it was lightweight. But I didn't know what brands were good, um, what brands had a recall. Like for instance, we put the, is it Britax on our list, but then it had a recall on it. Uh, luckily it was only a minor thing, but um, you'd wanna know the pros and cons for the different brands and the different strollers that they offer. Number four is online auctions. So we also have an Amazon registry, baby registry, and the prices are much more cheaper than they are at Babies R Us. And 
for us, we live in New Mexico and the, our family lives in California, it would just be more convenient to have an online registry and for them to purchase through those websites um, versus us traveling down to California, having to pack and store everything on our truck when we do go down there. And then, you know, it's, it's kind of too much of, no, I don't want to say a hassle, but it's, it's, um, it's more convenient when you do it online, they purchase everything or they purchase whatever they choose and then it gets delivered straight to your home. Um, so I think that was the best way for us. That's why we chose Amazon as one of our options. And the last one that I have is be realistic with your wants versus your needs. So I work with kids. I've been working in um, the child development field for five years. And I know that there are um, changing table products out there. But if I can go ahead and kind of dummy it down to where... Um, cost it'll be cost effective and it's affordable i would just my choice right now is to do a dresser so you can do a three dresser a six dresser mine right now my option is a six dresser because we want to go ahead and put the humidifier on top of that dresser as well we might not do that i'm not sure yet but um you might want to go ahead and just buy the diaper changing pad itself and then just put it on top of the dresser versus buying a dresser, buying a changing table, and, and then on top of that, you have to buy the changing pad. Um, so I like things to be easy. Um, I like to make it simple. Um, so that's why I chose it that way because I know that it's going to be this, it's going to work just as well as having a changing table. Um, except without actually having to buy it. So those are my five tips for you guys. I hope it's very beneficial for you. Um, you know, it's not hard to do as far as baby uh, doing your baby registry. It is fun, make it a fun experience. For us, we stayed at baby, baby service for about three to four hours because we were just kind of like, what do we want? And then we were checking out everything. You can even sit on the, um, the the rocking chairs and the gliders and those were that was actually really fun but having to like work the stroller was you never had um you the experience before because this is our first child we were trying to figure out how to even like put it down and and and, and put it away and how heavy was um this car seat compared to the other car seat so yeah it's it was a very long process when we actually went into the store but I would for sure do your research first before you guys even go into the store so it's not like overwhelming for you. And this is Rocky. Rocky's in my video right now. But yeah. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.